Hi, my name is Meredith. I just recorded my video about Preptober and my plans and all that good stuff. And now I need to initiate phase one, which is happening in the first week of October for me, which is to finish the edits on my previous book so that I can start planning my next book. So we got to get through this. We got to mush. So that's what this video is going to be about is me finishing these edits way, way past deadline. <laughs> but if you keep moving the deadline, then you're never actually failing it. I need to work so hard the next couple days if I'm going to finish the entire finale in um, a week. But it's only Monday. Let's get to it. Okay, it's the 6th of October. I've given myself until the 10th to finish editing my whole book. After today's editing sessions, I don't know that I'm going to make that either. What I want to really try to do is just work as hard as I can every single day, continue prioritizing it, which I have been for like a month now, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful month, but there's just so much work to do on this book. But the good news is that we're really getting through it. Today I edited chapters 33 and 34. I edited it finally to a level that's like really, really deep, and my concentration and focus was there for the first time that I've edited this chapter. Like I think I've just been editing it kind of in a tired, distracted state, and so this was great and I put it aside and I'm like, I'm moving on from it. Same thing with chapter 34. Two chapters done today that were not done when I woke up this morning. Other news that is very good news is that my alpha reader has started reading the book, the first part of it. I'm going back and doing another line edit of all of those beginning chapters, each one before I send it to my alpha reader. There are things that I'm thinking of that are kind of connecting the beginning to the end and it's actually been very helpful to kind of see here's the foundation that I built and here's the payoff that I need in order to do this justice. So I actually feel like this has been very productive. Okay, that's everything for tonight. Two chapters edited and let's go for two tomorrow. It's October the 7th. I worked for a long time today on my book, did editing and basically shirked all other responsibilities. But at this point in time, that's what we need to be doing. I edited chapter 35, which was um, almost an entire rewrite. So I drafted about 2000 words on that chapter and now it looks exactly like how I want it. So I'll probably just go back and do some line editing tomorrow and then put that chapter away. I think it's it's really where I want it to be. And then I went on and did most of chapter 36, but that's also almost a rewrite, but it's cobbling together different pieces of information I've already written, but now they just don't flow together. So I got about halfway through fixing that. I think there's still a lot more to be done on that chapter, to be honest. Pretty late right now, but I just had a full coffee, so I may go and try to edit a little bit more. I'm not sure if my brain is like still with us, but I'm not sure that I'm ready for bed yet, so I don't know what to do. But also, maybe I've done enough for one day. These are really, really, really heavy duty edits that I'm doing right now. So the work that I'm doing is stuff I'm not gonna have to do again. And once I get through this, we're, do we're doing okay. Today is October the 8th. I started really late today. I didn't do my morning session because I totally slept in, which is fine. I really wanted to just crash in the evening and I was like, nope, because then I won't have anything to talk about in my vlog today. <laughs> Plus the deadline that I'm on is insane. And so we've got a mush. So what I did is I edited chapter 35, a line edit. So I'm totally happy with that one. I'm going to let that go. We're, we're moving on. So that's the one I rewrote yesterday. So then the next thing to tackle is probably one of the hardest chapters in the book. Maybe it's not because if there's been some pretty tough ones, but this one is just hard because it's the final information beat. I want it to be fast. I want it to be snappy. I want it to be action packed, but it just kind of comes out information soup. So I had to basically rewrite that whole thing today. And so I did. I don't know that it was fabulous, but we did the basic reconstruction. And so tomorrow we're going to go in and fine tune things. I think that particular chapter is probably going to take a lot of work to get right. And then I was really hoping to get to chapter 37, which is the first finale chapter, and I did. I did. A lot of it was rewritten and cobbled together some scenes that previously had not been in the same chapter before. And so now it's structurally correct. The elements that I added are like just way better than what I had before. So I do really like it. The moral of the story is that I developmentally edited two huge important chapters today, and I feel very, very good about that. Another thing I got done today that is kind of skipping the uh, the lineup for Preptober here. But I got some major inspiration for book two that I'm gonna write in November, which is the main thing that I need to do in October is plan book two. Um, and I don't even have like the main conflicts set up. Actually developing those conflicts and figuring out how they're actually getting in the protagonist's way is something that I was like, if I don't even have this, I'm gonna struggle <laughs> in NaNoWriMo. And so today it kind of all came together. So. I really, really worked on the conflicts and the goals of the characters. If I can both edit book one and plan book two at the same time, I'm in a way better spot 
than if I just like start brainstorming book two in the last week of October if this editing takes that long, but I hope it won't. Today is October 10th and we have made amazing progress. So yesterday I rough edited chapter 38 and chapter 39 and a part of chapter 40, but chapter 38, I rewrote like from scratch, rewrote it. Chapter 39, I rewrote about half of it and then had to majorly edit the rest of it. And those are like the huge finale chapters. Those are like the payoff, the action, you know, like when you have a fantasy book and you have to make sure like the magic payoff is just right to actually give that sense of satisfaction to the reader for everything they've learned about the magic system up until that point. And it has to intersect with like the character arc and what they've learned and what they've struggled with and overcome. And I think we have it for the most part. I'm just thrilled to have the developmental side of those edits done because that's the heavy lifting. Like I honestly feel like after yesterday, the heavy lifting of the edits is over, <laughs> which is really exciting. I do need to say today is kind of my deadline <laughs> again. October 10th was definitely my deadline, but then I was like, okay, but if I extend it to like the 15th, then that's also fine as long as I'm alongside of it brainstorming book two, right? Like as long as I start brainstorming book two, then I'm okay if I keep kind of pushing my timeline out on these edits. And I think I feel also completely fine about it just because like I'm making the progress that I need to be making. And so everything's going to be fine. <laughs> All right. I will update you tomorrow on how things have gone. Today is October the 12th. I didn't film for the past two days. I rewrote a chapter that I needed to switch into a different point of view, which I did that. And that actually took a really long time. Uh, it was surprisingly dense. And then I went and edited the next chapter, which needed a switch up because some big character had been taken out of the finale and I needed to replace that character with other characters. And so I did that big switch up at the end there. I also went back and edited some chapters near the beginning to send to my alpha readers. So we're keeping that ball rolling. So that's amazing. So I have three chapters left. They're all resolution chapters. None of them are rewrites. They are all in the correct point of view. You. Honestly, I don't think that they're going to change very much at all from what I already had. So the rewriting part of the finale is is completely over. I'm so glad this panned out and this didn't like stretch for weeks because that would have been embarrassing and also really unfortunate for NaNoWriMo. So we're actually accomplishing things. All right, I'm having the best time of my life. I gotta go. Uh, one thing to note here is that I was walking down the street today and I was like, wow, the weather is amazing. Just because the weather is so good, it was like giving me a memory. And so I was like, what is this? And I was like, oh yeah. This time last year, like literally like within this section of days, I think it was on October 10th or something that I finished drafting this book for the first time. Um, it was a rewrite, but like I finished this version of the book where I drafted it from scratch one year ago, like today or two days ago or something like that. And I was just walking home and I was like, why do I feel the same feeling of like perfect weather and also elation of like almost finishing a book? It's like, oh yeah, I've been here before one year ago. It's just funny how time keeps turning around in a little circle. Nothing is new. It is Friday, October 13th. I've been getting up at five this week to get these edits in just for my schedule. It's just working better. And so I've been going to bed like really early, like 9, 30, 10, which is a big change for me. Usually what I try to do, which is why I end up crashing midweek a lot of times is like burning the candle at both ends and like staying up late to get more writing done in the evening. And then also trying to wake up and get more writing done in the morning. And so this time I've just been like, let's just do morning sessions. If I feel tired in the evening, I'm just crashing. So that seems to be working well for me. This morning I edited chapter 42 and chapter 43. Both of them were around 2,500 words. I didn't really add any words, but I'm not cutting words like I thought I would. I really thought that I would be just absolutely still chopping at this point, but I'm not. I'm kind of plateaued again. So sad. The feeling of just like slicing out whole chapters that I don't need anymore was so satisfying. I just, it's like addicting. I just want to keep doing it. I still have half of the final chapter left to edit and then I am done with the big developmental editing round. Basically like I'm, I'm finishing draft three today. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and finish draft three of my novel. Well, that's draft three. I guess we finished it. And the reason I have a question mark here is because I put that there when I started to have an inkling that maybe I wanted to do more than a standalone and make it a series. And so I was like, 
Is it the end? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. And I'm glad to say that it is not the end, especially because after reading, you know, the ending here, now I'm like, okay, I'm thinking through all these pieces that I have to start book two with and all the different conflicts that are still unraveled. So I feel like this is really the perfect time to start writing book two is because I'm now very familiar with how book one ended. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave you in this video, but I think I just didn't actually believe that I was going to get all the way to the final chapter of big developmental edits, like by mid-October. I was like, yeah, this is a long shot. I think it was just that I was actually right about the fact that as soon as I got out of the information clogged chapters that all the action from there, like even though I was doing all this rewriting, like I was writing like 3000 words a day, didn't matter. It was just momentum. I'm really happy with the progress I made these past two weeks. And I think that it set me up for actually probably accomplishing NaNoWriMo. We'll see. From now on, it's just going to be tweaking draft three, going back and editing chapter by chapter the beginning of draft three and sending it to my alpha reader, which is not going to be a big deal. It's just like a brain break to go read those chapters and be like, I did good work here. And then the thing that I'm going to be transitioning to and pouring my time into is going to be outlining. So I'm going to be outlining book two and I'm so excited about it. And that is going to be my next video. So watch out for that. If you are outlining book or plotting your character arcs or world building during this time, let me know what you're doing and how it's going for you. I know this is a stressful time. So let me know in the comments how everything is going. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and also subscribe to see more writing content from me. I also have a Fiverr link down below for developmental editing and book coaching if you want me to help you out with your book. So check out the link for that if you're interested. Other than that, stay tuned for next week's video about me outlining my new book and generally prepping for the craziness of November. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Happy writing. Happy prepping. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.